Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the ways in which I am currently experiencing these new energies that are now upon the planet, because things are shifting and things are changing. Many of us are now awake and we are consciously or unconsciously experiencing these new energies in our lives. We are noticing how much we are growing, how much we are shifting, how much we are evolving, how much we are changing, and how much things around us are also changing. We are becoming more aware. And because of this, we are going deeper into it. And we are expanding in all directions. And sometimes the potency of these energies that are coming into our lives, and how fast these energies are coming into our lives, makes it a little tricky or complicated especially when it comes to transitioning into this happy space where we can enjoy these energies. And that's why I'm going to be having this conversation today in the hope that someone might not feel alone and that might re someone might remember that many of us, you know, are in this space experiencing these new energies. And it's always very important to share how we are feeling because you never know, you never, never, never know how your experience can be beneficial for someone's process of growth and evolution. So that's why I'm doing it. So anywho, these energies are truly, truly potent. And I'm noticing for myself that a lot of things are happening. And I'm learning and remembering a very important thing. And that thing is Caroline embrace change. At this time, I'm realizing that it's very, very important to embrace change because I am changing. You are changing. Relationships are changing. Desires that people once had are changing. The work environments are changing. The work that we do is changing. The spiritual beliefs that we once held are changing. Our beliefs, our attitudes, our perceptions, our ideas, you know, how we view the world, who we really are, is changing. Endings are happening all over the place. And I'm learning at this time that change is my friend. Embracing change is my friend. And I'm learning and remembering that as much as events that happened in the past assisted us in this process, that it's useful to just say goodbye to some of all those old support structures and say hello to the new that is coming into our lives at this particular time. I'm learning that this change that is coming into, this, in, into our lives is not only about endings, but it's about embracing who we are becoming now, accepting the fact that we are, we are evolving, allowing this process of evolution to occur and then to accept that yes, I have grown, yes, I have evolved, yes, I have changed, this is the new me. In my own life, I noticed that there's a hesitation sometimes when it comes to transitioning from the old into the new because then I don't know how to be. But I'm beginning to realize that with these new energies, it is important to come into that space of authenticity and see yourself for who you are in this moment. I'm beginning to see how important it is truly to acknowledge who we have become, to no longer deny that we have changed, that we have grown, that we have evolved, and that now, we are new beings. I'm beginning to feel that very, very, very clearly, that the message is one of authenticity, that all the work that we have been doing is leading us to this point where we have to embrace change. And it's not only change in terms of allowing things to end, but it's change in terms of allowing ourselves to emerge as who we truly are in this particular time, in this now moment. I'm learning that without embracing this change, the journey becomes very, very, very complicated. It becomes one where you don't even know where to put your foot because you are no longer energetically connected to the past. So when we refuse to 
embrace the energy of now and who we are. We sort of just float around, not having any solid footing. So one of the most, ex most important ways in which I am experiencing these new energies is learning to embrace change and to accept who I am at this particular moment without really focusing too much on the past or in the future, but being present with who is Caroline at this particular time. Who are you at this particular time in truth? Who is the authentic me? Who is the authentic you? Embrace change. Very important, especially with these energies. Another thing that I'm finding out and I'm learning and I'm enjoying, even though I'm shocked about it, is how easy things are at this time. You know, in the past, how it used to be, things were just so complicated. In order to get to point B, we had to go through these processes, these sequences of do this, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, then that. But now I'm realizing that things are very easy in these new energies. The way information is coming is just so easy. The way I'm getting information from my guides and my higher self is just so easy. The things that are being revealed to me is just so easy. How to do things in the easiest way possible that I'm, I'm, having, to, I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around how easy things are how easy things can be because I'm so used to having a very complicated process in when I, I when I have to do things. Things just got to be complicated. This is not the way things are working in these new energies. In these new energies, I'm learning that things are very, very easy. Things are coming in to us in terms of images and numerals and short, simple, sweet ideas. The magic is coming in very little, tiny, tiny bites that are really easy to miss. And they're coming in such an easy fashion and so intuitively that if one is so wrapped up in a huge process, it's easy to miss these things. The information now and the way things are now is so easy. So it's requiring us to let go of a lot of of structures in our heads, a lot of mental stuff in our heads, and just go with the flow and with the ease of what's being revealed. For instance, I'm getting a lot of symbols for me at this particular time, symbols that are unlocking a wealth of information. And the use of those simple symbols is leading to an inner journey that I cannot even begin to explain to you. I'm going to be talking about some of these things in this, in my, in my YouTube, on my YouTube channel, because I'm finding that these little things so ignored are keys to a lot of major openings. And this is the way that I am perceiving for myself that the future will be like, it's going to be easy. So in these new energies, another thing, other than embracing change, I'm learning also that things are easy. It's no longer going to be complicated. Things will just be so simple that our minds will just have to, you know, get with the program of how easy things are going forward. Another thing that I'm learning is to listen to those intuitive flashes. I mean, I've talked about it several times and it's very, very crucial because this is the way that we are going to be communicating in the days ahead. Our intuition, our psychic senses are now very active. Everyone's psychic senses is opening up and speaking louder and really, really, you know, on high alert. And not only that, I'm discovering that besides the fact that we are now required to really listen to a, our intuition, because that is going to be one of the main channels in which information is coming. I'm also learning that underneath that, there's this thing of now that the intuition has come to you intuitively, are you going to listen to it or are you not going to listen to it? And even if you're in the middle of something, for example, even if I'm in the middle of doing this video, when I get a sense that I should stop doing this video, 
Am I going to keep going in spite of that strong message that has come to me intuitively that I need to stop? Or am I just going to stop and not do it because I am honoring the integrity of the intuitive flash? I'm noticing that there's a fine tu tuning occurring, at least for me, in terms of how I'm listening to my intuition. The information is coming, but am I really listening? Am I really being in integrity? I'm noticing that right now, because this is the way that communication is going to be happening in the future, that the intuition is being fine-tuned to help us really listen keenly and to help us be in such integrity and honor ourselves by listening and following those intuitive flashes to a T because those could really lead to, the, to some crossroads in our lives. Are you just going to keep going when the message says no? Or are you going to listen and change course. This is how it is right now. The fine tuning of intuitive senses and the senses are speaking louder and louder and louder. Are you listening or are you disobeying? Are you taking it for granted? Because it's not really about the intuition. It's about being in integrity with yourself, honoring yourself, fine tuning yourself, because this is the way communication will be happening in the future. Embrace change. Things are easy. Listen to the fine tuning of the intuition. If it says stop, are you listening or no? Another thing that I'm also learning through this whole process of being in these energies is just how to go with the flow and not resist the changes that are occurring or that are required in, in life. The other day I was talking to a friend of mine who was curled up in a fetal position, scared to death because they didn't know how to say no to a client. So the, their whole bodies were giving, the, the, her body basically was giving this signal for her to say something in her interest. But she was ignoring this body signal and she was crying and was literally in a fetal position. How much and how loudly can your body language say no to you? Seriously, if I was in a situation right now that my whole body was in such pain and such grief because of a situation or a client, at this point in my life, nope, I choose no. I'm learning at this particular time that the body is speaking in such loud volume that don't ignore it. Don't ignore the body signals. And I'm not saying that you should not do whatever it is that you, you need to do to get along in your 3D life, but I'm just saying that given a choice, honor yourself, honor your body, listen to why your body would be giving you loud signals that are causing you such grief and such terror. Fear is never a good thing. It's always a sign, a really loud sign for you to, you know, end a situation, change course. I mean, how much louder can the body speak? You know, how much louder can you hear the signals from the universe? So I'm learning at this particular time to really go with the flow because the energies are so intense and they're creating situations and circumstances that are so hard to ignore. So at this time, go with the flow. You know, just don't resist the changes that are occurring. Don't resist the messages that the universe is bringing to you, especially when they're touching on your body. At that point, you need to know that, you know, something has to change at this particular point. So go with the flow. Don't resist. And sometimes we don't have to do anything. This is a thing that's happening right now. I'm realizing that we don't have to really do anything. Why would you do anything at this particular time? It used to be that things used to be, we, we feel obligated sometimes to do things, but I'm realizing at this time it's just okay to just let things be because it's the energy and the vibration of things that speaks louder than anything else. And we are not really here to perform anything. 
we're not really here to try to impress anybody or try to impress anything, you know, or, uh, upon anyone. We're only here to be love. We're only here to really fill ourselves with joy to the degree that we can. And if anything really does not cut it in terms of the love factor or the joy factor, it got to go. Go with the flow of your life. Don't resist the changes that are coming into your life. I'm telling you because I feel really that it's really, really becoming so intense. And it's just better to just breathe, let go. It's so much easier when we breathe and let go and just accept that resistance is futile. Flow is good. Go with the river. Let's see where the river takes us. It's so much easier, especially at this time. At least that's how I'm experiencing those energies. When your body is speaking and banging those signals so loud, listen to your body. And then finally, what I'm going to talk about is that I'm noticing even more and more how important it is to remember that the future that is coming for most of us is just going to be awesome. Many of us have done a lot of work. We've done a lot of inner work. We have cleared a lot of things. We have let go of a lot of things in the past many years or maybe months or whatever, or we are still doing it right now. A lot of new energies are coming in. We are allowing love to come into our lives. We are allowing light to come into our lives. We are choosing consciously good things in our lives. It's not like we are living unconsciously the way we used to live unconsciously before. And now we, have, we are sowing good seeds into our lives. And when we sow good seeds into our lives, Lives, the way we have been doing, many of us have been sowing love and light and guess what? The future can only be bright because we are going to be reaping love and light come the future. So I'm so excited because I can only see brightness and I can only see good things happening to most of us because most of us have consciously chosen love for ourselves and love for others and light into our lives. And then based on just the principle of sowing and reaping, what can we ex ex expect but goodness? So all I'm seeing in the future is just good things happening for all of us. So I'm really, really optimistic. So let's just keep embracing change, remembering that things are easy, following those intuitive flashes, listening to those body signals and going with the flow and remembering that because of all the good things that we have been putting into our lives, the future can only be brighter. We made conscious decisions to choose love and to choose life and to choose light. And oh my gosh, it's the best thing that happened because the future is only going to be bright. It's only going to be miracles and magic. This is just the way I see it. These are the laws of the universe. It's going to be good, guys. I'm so excited. I love you guys. Please share how you're experiencing these energies. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Mwah. Bye.